food production has been made even more interesting. It's big, it's new, it is farmer's check. Join Jeffrey Chepkonyi as brings you new farming techniques and lofty enterprising ideas on the farm on KTS every Tuesday. Don't miss. Hello and welcome to Farmer's Tech Program. Today we are at University of Eldoret where we are featuring the different st uh, stands where farmers are visited. And in this Accredited Fair, which is organ uh, it's an annual event which is organized by University of Eldoret, we are today uh, starting with the uh, canola. Canola is a plant that grows in every farm and it has many benefits. We'll talk with the person in charge of this stand and he'll give us more information. Jina langu ni Jason Kamonya na mimi nafanya na shirika la linaitwa Agventure na Agventure kupitia wale tuko na shirika na, na department inaitwa Center of Excellence for Crop Rotation na hiyo ndio tunatumia kufikia wakulima through a program ya conservation agriculture tukiambia wakulima ya kwamba you can drive up your productivity kama uki adopt concepts za um, conservation agriculture so utatueleza hii mmea inapandwa kwa njia gani? Huu mmea ambao unaitwa canola unapandwa kama vile unapanda ngano. Unapanda ukitumia planta ya ngano na kwa sababu mbegu zake ni ndogo sana utapanda ukitumia kuku ile planta alafu uchanganye mbegu na na, 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 na fertilizer alafu sasa uweke compartment ya fertilizer. Okay. Yes. Tuseme hii mmea inachukua muda gani ndio ikue? Huu mmea unachukua muda ka, kama wa miezi 4 paka karibu miezi 5. Ina, inategemea ni altitude gani na baridi na hali ya baridi na joto. Mm. Tuseme hapa Eldoret inachukua muda wa kiasi gani? Hapa Eldoret itachukua muda wa kitu kama miezi 4, miezi 4 na nusu. Okay. Kama ngano tu. Kama ngano inachukua miezi 4, huu mmea utachukua miezi 4 pale. Okay tuonge, tuongele spacing na vile unapanda unapanda kwa njia gani? Huu mmea spacing yake ni 7 inches ama 15 cm between the rows. Mm -hmm. Alafu hiyo nyingine ni vile uh, planter itaweka wakati ina distribute hizo mbegu. Okay. Vile tu tunatakiwa kutilia maana ni kwamba mbegu zake zinatakiwa kuwa kilo moja mm -hmm. kwa eka moja. Kilo moja kwa eka moja. Ndio. Mm -hmm. Ukipanda kilo moja kwa eka moja utapata yield kiasi gani? Kama ukiuchunga ule mmea vizuri katika hektia moja unaweza kupata 2.5 tons to 3 tons lakini tunajua kuna wakulima wamepata nyingi kuliko ile. Okay. Apart from learning now the, the yield, ni maintenance process gani unaweka ndio upate a good yield ya hiyo mmea? ni mmea ambao unataka madini kama vile nitrogen, phosphate na potassium, sulfur na boron. Hizo ni ki elements ambazo huu mmea unahitaji mm -hmm. na huu mmea unahitaji tutengeneze shamba vizuri tufanye preplant uh, weed control mm -hmm. alafu kutoka pale tupande tukisha upanda tutahitaji ku control uh, cutworms ambazo zinaweza kukata ule mmea wakati bado uko mchanga alafu kutoka pale tutafanya top dressing na top dressing ambayo inaweza kuwa nzuri sana ni top dressing ambayo iko na sulfur kitu kama ammonium sulfate kwa sababu una very high protein content na mafuta kwa hivyo that component ya sulfur ni very good for kutengeneza yale mafuta na protein so utaweka hiyo fertilizer at what stages vile fertilizer ya kwanza ni at planting stage ya pili utaiweka wakati tunazungumzia kuhusu uh, matawi matatu maine Alafu ya ine unaweza ku ya tatu unaweza kuiweka wakati huu mmea haujaanza kutoa flowers. Yes. Okay, utuambie umuhimu wa huu mmea. Huu mmea nitaangalia kwa njia tatu. Njia ya mchanga, nitaangalia kwa njia ya wanyama na pia kwa njia ya mwanadamu. Ya kwanza kabisa kama ukiuangalia huu mmea mizizi yake huwa inapenya kwa mchanga sana na inaweza kwenda hata fiti mbili tatu ndani ya mchanga. Wakati uko pale ndani ya mchanga unafungua zile njia ambazo maji yanaweza pita na pia hewa inaweza kuingia kwa mchanga. 
Wakati maji yameingia vizuri na yamepenya vizuri kwa mchanga wako inamaanisha ya kwamba hata kukiwa na jua ule mchanga unaweza kuhakikisha ya kwamba mimea yako imestahimili ukame hata wakati mvua haujanyesha kwa muda. Ya pili ni kwamba kuna vitu ambavyo mizizi ya huu mmea hutoa. Na hizo mizizi huwa ni kama kile kitu inatoa inasafisha mchanga. Na inaisafisha kutokana na mambo ambayo tunaita the fungal diseases. So it has something tunaweza kusema sanitizing effect of the soil. Ya tatu na, na ambao pia ni ya muhimu kwa sababu mizizi imepenya chini ukiangalia vyakula vingi ambavyo sisi hupanda kama vile mahindi, ngano, shairi, tuseme wimbi na hata sogam ni bale. Okay. utakuta ya kwamba mizizi yake huwa haingii chini sana. Na kama kuna ile kitu tunaita leaching, madini yameenda chini ya yale zile mizizi, utakuta ya kwamba utakuwa unaweka kitu fertilizer lakini mmea mwenyewe haupati yale madini. Lakini ukitumia mmea kama huu ambao mizizi imeenda chini, inavuruta yale madini, inakuja inatengeneza yale matawi yake kama vile unavyoona hapa. Alafu wakati inaanza kukauka unaanza kuona ndio haya. Sasa utakuta hapa pako na yale madini yalitoka kule chini kwa mchanga. Zikianza kuoza yale madini ambayo yalikuwa chini yataachiliwa sasa na wakati unaleta ngano ama mahindi zitaweza sasa ku zile minerals. Halafu njia nyingine ni kwamba kuna makwekwe yanasumbua wakulima sana. Kwekwe kama rye grass, kama broom grass na zinimekuwa shida zaidi sana kwa wakulima wa ngano. Ukitaka ku control unakuta ya kwamba kama ukisha kuwa na ule mmea ambao ni broad leaved kama huu basi ni rahisi sana ku control the grass weeds hapa ndani. Na wakati una control zikiwa chini hii umea ukisha kuwa mkubwa na unatengeneza canopy nzuri kama hii unakata miale ya jua na yale makwekwe yako kule chini hawezi kupata kwa hivyo yanakufa na mmea wako unakuwa sawa ukileta ngano sasa next ya mahali ambapo ulikuwa umepanda huu mmea unakuta ile shida imeenda chini zaidi tu vile tunasema ule mmea utafuata huu mmea wa canola production ishaonyeshwa kwenda juu bae 25%. Kwa hivyo kama ulikuwa ukipata labda gunia 20, unakuta ya kwamba a crop that comes immediately after canola unaweza kupata 25 bags. Upande wa pili ni kwamba vile tunaangalia hizi mbegu, ukisha vuna hizi ndizo mbegu ambazo tutazipata kutoka hapa. Na hizi ndizo mbegu tunasema ndio mapato ama kile kitu mkulima atavuna kutoka kwa mmea wa canola. Na huu mmea ukisha leta zile mbegu tunatengeneza mafuta ambayo tunasema ni canola oil na hii canola oil kama ukiangalia hakuna kitu chochote ambacho kimewekwa ndani hapa. Process ya kutengeneza hii ni through something we call cold pressing unafinya tu halafu kutoka pale through sedimentation and filtration unapata yale mafuta ambao hata preservative haijaongezwa we can literally talk of it as a living oil this is one of the most healthy oil in the market kwa sababu it's very rich in kitu tunaita omega 3 omega 6 omega 9 na omega na, na vitamin E and K kama mnavyojua omega 3 huwa ni nzuri sana katika developing uh, de development of the brain na pia it is also a memory booster na also an immuno booster. Haya mafuta wakati unapoyaangalia ni mazuri sana in terms of uh, cooking, in terms of frying and baking. Haya mafuta unaweza pia kuyatumia kwa kutop dress your salad. Na one of the interesting thing about it even at zero degrees utakuta haya ma ma mafuta bado yatakuwa liquid wakati wa, uh, wa mafuta mengine yameanza kushikana this one will still be a liquid. Sema hiyo ni muhimu watatu wenye ulikuwa umeongelea. Watatu ni chakula cha ngombe. Chakula cha ngombe okay. Ndio. Yale mabaki ambayo yanatoka wakati umetumia hii uh, umetoa mafuta ni a very high protein content ya uh, what we call the canola cake. 
hiyo canola cake ni iko na protein nyingi sana ambayo ni very easily digestible kwa tumbo ya ngombe. Na ngombe ambaye anatumia hii maziwa yake huenda juu by 20%. The butter content inaweza kwenda juu by 7% na pia unakuta ya kwamba hali ya ndume ya, ya ndama yako kutaka ndume inakuwa enhanced na inakuja upesi upesi. Na kwa hivyo umuhimu wake ni kwamba mkulima anaweza kupata ndama karibu kila mwaka. No. Na ni kwa kila mwaka huu huu mchanga wetu hujapumzika. Nimekuwa mzee watoto wangu wameanza kufanya nini? Kulima ngano. Kama palikuwa na shida kwa ule udongo. Na kama kulikuwa na shida ya ngano katika ule mchanga, hiyo shida imeenda ikifanya nini? Ikienea ikienea na ikikuwa kubwa. Na unaona ya kwamba inaenda ikileta mapato ya nini ya ngano ya, ya kishuka? tutafanya namna gani ili tubadilishe lazima tuweze ku break that disease cycle na one of the crops ni kuleta mmea ambao ni tofauti na familia ya nini ya ngano na hii mmea unaona ni tofauti kabisa huu mmea ni familia ya cabbage na kwa hivyo magonjo ya ngano hayawezi zikufanya nini kuadhiri huu tuki break na huu mmea tuupande ile crop tunafuatisha ya ngano utakuta pressure ya magonjwa itaenda imefanya nini imeshuka na ukiangalia zile vitu vyote nimekwambia na sasa ulete ngano baada ya huu mmea ama mahindi production yako inaenda up by around 25 uh, 25% sisi tuko hapa tukiambia wakulima ya kwamba soko ni kubwa ya huu mmea huu mmea kama wewe ushawahi kupanda ngano zile vifaa unatumia kwa ngano ndizo unatakiwa kutumia kwa huu mmea land preparation ni kama ya ngano planter ni kama ile ya ngano Harvester ni kama ile angano. na soko iko tayari. Sio soko unaenda kupanda, uh, I mean kutafuta. Tunasema hii soko yake iko tayari na kama mkulima akiweza ku adopt unaweza kufanya kile kitu tunaita nini? Market risk diversification. Yaani hauweki maya yote yako kwa kikapu kimoja. Uko na ngano kidogo, uko na mahindi kidogo, uko na bale kidogo, uko na kanola hapa. Na zote zinaenda zikifanya nini? Ziki ukibadilisha. Na wakati bei ya hii iko kali, unauza ile iko na soko tayari, ukigoja uh, ma, uh, soko ya ingine ifanye nini? Ikuwe sawa sawa. Na hivi ndivyo tunasema mkulima ataweza kupata kitu ndani ya mfuko wake. Asante sana. Unaweza tukumbusha jina lako? Jina langu ni Jason Kamunya na mimi nafanya na shirika la linaitwa Adventure. Na Adventure kupitia wale tuko na shirika na, na department inaitwa Center of Excellence for Crop Rotation na hiyo ndiyo tunatumia kufikia wakulima through a program ya conservation agriculture tukiambia wakulima ya kwamba you can drive up your productivity kama ukiadopt concepts za um, conservation agriculture ambazo ni hakikisha kwamba mchanga wako hausumbuliwi sana Hakikisha kwamba mchanga wako kila wakati uko na a cover crop uh, a cover ambapo haupati miali ya jua directly na ya tatu na ya muhimu zaidi hakikisha kwamba unafanya crop rotation na crop rotation based for the cereal ni kutumia kanola. Asante sana. Asante tunashukuru. Hey, Food production has been made even more interesting. It's big, it's new, it is farmer's check. Join Jeffrey Chepkoni as brings you new farming techniques and lofty enterprising ideas on the farm on KTS every Tuesday. Don't miss. We are in another stand where we, we have Matthew who will introduce himself and tell us more on animal feeds. Karibu. Yes, uh, my name is Matthew Boyd. Uh, mimi natoka Kenya seed, uh, Simlo seeds. Na kwa University of Eldoret, uh, tumepanda mimea, uh, haina mbali mbali. Tuko na uh, kwa upande wa dairy, ama wale wa kulima wanataka uh, fuka, fuka ngombe, asa ngombe za maziwa. Hapa tuko na Lusan. Uh, tuko na Lusan ambaye wakulima wanaesatumia as supplements uh, wakichanganya na nebia ama boma roots uh, mkulima atatumia tu kiwango kidogo na to enrich hiyo chakula ya ngombe so tuko na Lusan na tuko na Desmodium 
ya pande nyingine tumepanda boma roads mm-hmm. na oats mm-hmm. ambayo wakulima wameifahamu vizuri sana sana kama 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 chakula ya ngombe wakulima wengi wamejaribu kupanda lusan na desmodium lakini shida imekuwa jinsi ya kupanda na na vile unapanda na ina ni ina fit same gani ya nje yes uh, lusan ina fit uh, same kubwa sana Kenya eh, lakini makosa ya wakulima ambaye huwa wanapanda eh, lusa na desmodium eh, mbeku sa lusa na, na desmodium eh, sio mbeku kubwa kama ya mahindi eh? so wakulima wengi wamekuwa kufanya makosa ya kuchimba wakichimba chini na, ku, na kupanda eh, mtaro na kupanda sasa ukichimba mtaro na, na, na kupanda na kufunika hiyo mbeku haiwezi toka unaipanda kama unaitumia kamba kwa sababu ni sehemu kidogo unaipanda unaitumia kamba alafu unachukua kichiti eh? unachapa laini eh? na hiyo kichiti eh? Is, isipite inchi moja chini eh? alafu unaweka pole pole mpaka mwisho ya hiyo laini unaanza laini nyingine alafu unatumia hiyo kichiti kufunika eh? kwa hivyo sio mbegu ya ati unachimba chini unaweka chini haitamea eh? Yeah, in fact hata saizi nimepata wakulima wachache wanasema hii kitu nilipanda na haikutoka. Lakini niliweka tila. Eh, nikamwambia sasa we umefunika hiyo. Hiyo mbeko hiyo simea. Yeah. Okay. So inafaa utengeneze mchanga ikuwe fine Iku, Ikuwe fine. Eh, yeah, eh, yeah. alafu eh, asa kama kama lusan unaiacha nafasi, unaiacha nafasi. Naiweka kama 45 cm. Yaani unaiacha nafasi ya kubalilia ukikata unaibalilia alafu unaiweka mbolea aidha mbolea ya ngombe ama ya mbuzi ama cn kidogo na ikinyesha kidogo inatoka haraka sana within one month lusani imekuwa tayari ikisha mea ukikata unaiweka aidha mbolea ya ngombe ama unaongezea cn kidogo ehe na itatoka haraka sana na ukitunza vizuri ukitunza vizuri utaitumia hiyo lusan na desmodium for four years eh, kitu kingine kizuri kwa desmodium kwa sababu desmodium iko na kamba so unaweza weka laini moja ya nebia na weka laini moja ya lusan i mean, I mean ya, 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 ya desmodium kwa sababu desmodium itapanda itapanda lusan sasa ile lusan ina mea inapanda so ukikata unakata yote pamoja unaenda unakata kati ya ngombe eh, Okay, utuambie kwa ufupi umuhimu wa haya mimea yenye muongelea kwa kwa ngombe. Eh, umuhimu eh, lusa na desmodium eh, iko na proteins nyingi. Eh, eh, ukitumia kama yule mtu anatumia uh, nebia peke yake. Hata ukikunywa maziwa maziwa ya ngombe ambaye inatumia nebia peke yake, hiyo maziwa ni maji maji. Lakini u, 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 yule mkulima ambaye anatumia both nebia na I mean, uh, both nebia na, na desmodium ama lusan hiyo yeah. hiyo maziwa eh hiyo maziwa ni tamu eh and very rich yeah hata eh, ukikunywa maziwa ya ngombe ambaye inakula desmodium ama lusan unaweza fikiria mtu ameweka sukari it's very sweet na ukitengeneza naye mala hiyo maziwa ni very thick lakini ile ingine, ile ngombe inakula tu nebia peke yake. Hey, hiyo maziwa ni maji maji. Hata watu wakaisisi wanayasarudisha wakifikiria wewe umeongeza maji kwa hiyo eh, kwa hiyo maziwa. Yes. So, unaweza tueleza formula ya ku kuchanganya hizi ingredients chapo eh, eh, formula ni ya kwamba since uh, lucanet smodium is very rich in protein. Sio ati unaweka nyingi sana. Eh? Ukikata sema kama kunia moja ya lusan eh? unajanganya na kunia kama tano ya nebia eh. yeah. na hizo pia hizo nini ya uh, lusan unaweza kausha ikauke alafu unapitisha kwa, kwa machine inashaga eh, alafu una sasilo unajanganya na dairy na nini unachukua tu kama kama kama, kama, kama mkono moja hivi unaiwekelea ngombe eh. So lusa na desmodium lazima uipande mahali mahali very secure kwa sababu naye ngombe iki, ikiingia alafu ikule ikiwa green hivyo inaesaua ngombe 
so ni dangerous ama mbuzi very dangerous uh, lazima uiweke vizuri sana okay. yes tumeongelea sana Lusan Desmodium na akiongelea kikuyu class na na sunflower for instance tuongelea sunflower eh uh, sunflower tuko na sunflower ni vizuri pia kwa kwa, kwa ngombe eh uh, sunflower na unaweza panda tu kama mahindi eh spacing ni kama kama ya mahindi lakini naye sikaribiane sana kama mahindi yeah eh uh, na sunflower eh uh, baada i mean uh, after kufuna hiyo sunflower unaweza toa ile ile nini ile seeds eh uh, ile seeds yende i mean uh, uchukue kwa mashine itoe mafuta alafu hiyo ingine unakatakatia una unaongezea chakula ya ngombe yeah but it's not it's not the main it's not the main thing tuko na soga msoga ndio ndio sana sana vizuri yeah. uh, kwa ngombe yeah and especially mali hakuna maji mingi unapanda soga unaweza kata kata soga uh, utengeneze uh, uh, ngombe ikiwa ikiwa ni silage yeah na pomarot kuna watu wengi wamejaribu kupanda pomarot na wameshindwa ku maintain especially sasa unapanda pia ini okay uh, challenge ya pomarot uh, ni ya kwamba ukipanda inakwanga ngumu sana kuitoka ama it's a slow grower so lazima upande na fertilizer yeah? at least i recommend at least one and a half uh, one and a half bucks bareka uh, kwa boma uh, you broadcast like uh, yani ku broadcast ni na na nafikiri eh njia ya kupanda eh ni ni ni, ni, eh, ni kupu, yeah, yeah, yeah. and i normally recommend wakulima watumie at least four kilos kwa eka moja na waongeze watumie mbolea ndio isaidie itoke haraka na ikisha shika chini boma roots unaweza tumia hata hata miaka kumi. Eh? so long as usikubalie ngombe ingie ndani ikanyaka kanyaka ama ikule eh. so boma roots ikitoka hata saa zingine unaweza inaweza toka na na nyazi zingine eh? ambaye we uelewe hii nyasi ni gani hii eh? lakini ikifika kiwango ya kukata ukikata sasa hiyo hiyo nyazi nyingine sasa itapotea na boma roots sasa inatokea eh, itakuwa suppressed na hizo nini itoke alafu eh, ile dawa unaweza tumia kwa sababu eh, kwa sababu unajua wewe sibalilia na kuna hizo hizo makwekwe huwa wanatua sinatoka eh? eh, kuna dawa ile dawa ambayo utatumia ku spray hiyo shamba utatumia ile dawa ya ngano eh? Eh, eh, ile ya broad leaf peke yake kama shellmine 72 ama pactril ama pactrilem you spray una unaweza ku spray kama kama kama, kama mara mbili hivi na ikifika kiwango kuna, kuna zile zimetoka na, na ni kubwa kidogo unaweka vijana waenda wanangoa si hata kungoa wanaenda na, na, na panga wakatie chini eh, na kuacha tu ikupe kwa shamba eh, Asante sana at least tumefunza wakulima jambo moja ama mbili. Yeah. Jambo la mwisho yenye unaweza waambia wakulima. Eh jambo ya mwisho ambaye naweza waambia wakulima ni wapande lus at least wapande lusan na desmodium. Eh? Na wale ni serious farmers. Tuko na nyazi aina Kenya City iko na nyazi aina mingi sana. Tuko na Sudan cross ambaye ina mea urefu kama mita mbili eh? eh, tuko na columbus grass tuko na oats eh, tu, na tuko na boma roots yeah. na wakiwa na shida na, ya kupanda boma roots wakikuja kwa ofisi yetu ya eldoret tunaweza patia mtu ya, ya, ya kwenda kumsaidia yeah, 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 yeah. Food production has been made even more interesting. It's big, it's new. It is farmers check. Join Jeffrey Chepkony as brings you new farming techniques and lofty enterprising ideas on the farm on KTS every Tuesday. Don't miss.